Hey everyone, Flying Dutch here. Welcome back to the tutorial for complete beginners in Victoria 2. This is episode 5, I think. Last episode we did our first war and we took East Hausa land. Uh, we get a lot more population, 600,000 more, that we can tax, taxate. And they are working on their RGOs for us. And we are colonizing this state because it has a life rating of 35. So you can colonize this at the start of the game when you border it. For example, this one we cannot colonize until the uh, 1870, I think. And this is uh, 15. It's also going to be really hard to colonize. Now, in this episode, we are going to talk about how factories work. Um, we have a project from our uh, capitalists. They want to build a steel factory in Sveland. Remember, it goes by state. At the moment we have no factories, we have no clerks, we have no craftsmen, we have no capitalists and no infrastructure. You can have eight factories in a state. And you want to try to build factories in a state where you have the RGO for it. For example, in the state of Svealand, which is uh, this state. Let me have a look at the... Uh, state, is there a state map mode? Region, the green state of Svealand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 provinces. The RGO output is... What is this? Timber? Timber? Iron? Timber? Grain? Iron? Timber? And coal? Now you can build certain factories over here and you get to this screen when you click over there. So when you are in your state you click on this uh, factory icon. Or you go to Svealand and you click on this one. And here you can see which factories you can build. Now we will quickly go over them. Uh, you have a fertilize, fertilizer factory. Uh, silver will become into fertilizer glass factory you have you have coal that will become glass cement coal becomes cement fabric cotton and dyes become fabric lumber from timber a winery needs glass and fruit liquor needs glass and grain the cannery needs a bit of steel cattle fish and grain ammunition needs silver and steel explosives needs ammunition and cement no, uh, fertilizer. A uh, regular clothes factory needs fabric. The paper mill needs timber. The furniture factory needs timber and lumber. Small arms factory needs uh, ammunition and steel. Art artillery needs uh, steel and explosives. The steel factory, which one of our capitalists wanted to build, needs coal and iron. Now guess what we have in our Svealand state. We have uh, two provinces that make uh, iron. The laborers get some iron out of the RGO. And in Stockholm we mine coal. So if we build a steel factory uh, over here. We will have the daily inputs in the state itself. And that gives a bonus. You don't have to. If you want we can just build a uh, luxury clothes factory over here. But then we need to buy the silk. I think that is silk. Doesn't look like silk, right? Uh, we need to buy silk from the world market. And regular clothes we also need to uh, buy from the world market. Because we are not producing that much. Only our artisans make a little bit. And that costs a lot of money. But maybe it's still profitable to make luxury clothes. Because maybe they are worth so much more than what we need to buy from the world market. But still... These two things we make in our own country. So we don't have to buy this from the world market. Well, maybe uh, maybe a little bit. But most of it we already have. So this can be very profitable to make steel over here. Now, when we want to build this, it costs 17,000. As you can see. But the capitalists already have this uh, over here. I think you pay half of the price. Uh, lumber mill is 5.6 if I build it on my own. 
it's it's a little bit more than half. If I build it on my own, it costs 10.4k. So uh, thanks to my capitalists, we can uh, do this very cheaply. So I'm going to put my money that I get into this 7.8 slider. Like this. I invest. You can see 4.8 out of 7.8 is invested. You will see these numbers go up because they are buying the goods from the market. The coal, the iron. Uh, this is an invention from our uh, first technology, medicine. So we have even less attrition and we have more pop growth. Very nice. Oh, we see we have the coal, we have the iron, we just need to buy the machine parts from the world market. And those are pretty expensive. Uh, when you go to trade and look at the machine parts, you can see that they are getting worth more and more. Everyone wants these machine parts. And one part is now costing 42 ducats, so it's very expensive to get uh, 80 of these. It's 80 times 40. So... Uh, we can invest a little bit more. Now you can see the star uh, after the, next to the coal and the iron. That means that we uh, they are ready. Now the game also pauses with events, so you have to keep an eye out if the game is paused or not. So now we will keep working on it. So we need how much? We need 2.1 thousand more. So we are almost there. And then we are going to build the steel factory. I don't like that the Russians are in Orland here. It's a bit scary. We are making a lot of money. It's going the right way. Now we will have enough money now I think. Yeah look. We can now have. We can invest all the money that is needed. Uh, I will ju just control. If you control left mouse click, you invest amount into this project. If you shift left mouse click, you put all your available money in all the projects. So I just control click. It's full. They're gonna build, uh, buy the last machine parts. And the factory will be built. Machine parts are really hard to get and you really want to produce these in your own country. Now, apparently we have to do another investment. Apparently the price of machine parts is getting higher or something. I think that is what is happening. So I have to press control and click again. Put 800 in here. They're going to buy machine parts for 800. Do they have enough now? Yes. There we go. It's green. I think when you uh, click one more time, it's getting built. Yeah. Uh, this one. And now when we look at our factory tab here, we can see that our factory in Svealand is getting built. Now, a, th a couple of things are popping up over here. Uh, we are building a factory. It takes a year to build a factory. And that is what is happening right now. And what is happening? Our people are converting into craftsmen and clerks. Because they know there is a factory coming. And some people don't have enough money. And some people uh, don't make profit by being a farmer or a artisan. And they think, oh, I have to become a, a craftsman. Maybe I have more chances to become wealthy or something. And they are promoting and demoting to craftsmen. Now let's have a look. How is that with farmers? 16% of our farmers have a tension to become a craftsman. It's not 16%, but it is something. I don't know, 16% in 10 years, or I have no idea. Uh, but why? Why is this happening? Happening. The crisis state has factories. Crisis state? No idea. Uh, we have very high literacy. So we don't have the minus 5, minus 3 and minus 2%. 
And we have literacy above 80%, which makes a 6% bonus, and the 10% makes 16% of the farmers want to become craftsmen. Uh, soldiers, maybe? I don't know if soldiers want to become craftsmen. Yeah, also 16%. And officers. And what about our aristocrats? What do they want to become? They want to become bureaucrats. And some want to become capitalists. And <laughs> some actually want to become farmers. Oh, really? <laughs> That's weird. But that is how that works. So some people will be unemployed for a while. But when the factory is built, we have people to work there immediately. Now I am making money. We will start building our armies. And I want more of this. I think we can sustain it. Yeah, we are buying up the goods. Very nice. Now, there we go. This thing is popping up. We can create a protectorate in Bornu. No one challenged our colony and now we can create a protectorate. Now look at our population. We have 1.61 million. 1.77 million. Now at the moment it is a protectorate. And I, I think that you don't tax protectorates. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't show anything. Oh, because I have nothing selected. I'm not really sure anymore. Uh, we cannot build factories anyway. Um, a protectorate cannot make uh, factories and a, a colony can also not make protectors. Let's see if we have uh, more taxation money. 72.9. 72.7. Click. When you make um, a state a colony, you can tax the people. So you just want to do that all the time, I think. I can't find any reason to not do this. Maybe someone that is watching can help me with that, but I don't see any reason not to make everything into a colony. At least I don't know. So, uh, our infamy is down. I think we're going to try to uh, get a claim on Ethiopia. Uh, we completed Romanticism, so we have even more prestige. Hopefully we will become a great power soon. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. Um, these philosophy technologies are very important because these give a flat research bonus. The idealism technology will be possible in 1840. It is now exactly one year until 1840. And what you can do is store one year worth of technology points. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to store my research points until January of, 19, of 1840. Then I click this technology and I will get this one quicker. Um, can we see this somewhere? Yeah, we have accumulated and then you can see the research points going up. And I think when this bar is filled, we cannot store more. And that way we uh, get this 50% boost very quickly. Now the factory is getting built. Very nice. We still have another project, but let's uh, get some money for now because we uh, want to go to war, I think, with Ethiopia. More prestige, very nice. And look at this, guys. We are now on the 8th position. So very soon, we will be a great power. We have one more point than the Ottoman Empire. I think you need to stay above the, uh, the number 8 for one year. And then we will become a great power. I think that is how it works. Let's increase with Denmark so we can start uh, sphering him when we are a great power. And let's get a claim on Ethiopia. Now, first I right click on Ethiopia. In 3.04. The version. 
And I look, is there anyone friendly with Ethiopia? No. Okay. Um, is he allied with anyone? No. Is he an uncivilized nation? Yes. So let's justify a war on him and ask for a state. No. Hopefully we are not going to get caught for a while. The longer that takes, the less infamy we get. Let's see what happens in the world. Any? Uh, no, there are no wars at all in the world at the moment. That is amazing. More pop growth. Thank you very much. Oh, we have 2% uh, in uh, Jutaland. We need to change this. Uh, we have 0 0.7 in Oslanded, so we will get clergy there. To 2%. We now have uh, 1.36 of the population clergy. So we are getting close to our 2% and there we go. We are caught. We have 3.6 infamy. Which is a bit mad but it's also not too terrible. Our armies are almost replenished. And remember these replenishments need to come from the province you build it out from. So the soldiers from Karlskrona in Sweden are the only ones that can fill up this brigade. We're getting loans again. Let's uh, build the artillery a bit slower. And we need to increase this anyway, so... Artillery is very expensive. What I can do... Uh, when I become the Nationalists, just click on it, we can just change this, I think we can, no we cannot lower the budget more, oh that's a pity, you cannot lower the budget of the, uh, the naval stuff to zero unfortunately, now we have 48% uh, admin efficiency because we are paying the administration a lot, so a lot of people become bureaucrats, and we get more and more education bon money. We need, we need to pay more and more clergymen. But we want that because we, give, we get research from it. And we need to pay more and more soldiers and officers. This number will go up slowly as well. Because people are promoting to it. Do, do, do. Halfway of uh, production. And then I will show you why it is so much fun. Building factories in the right spots. Especially when you like a bit of maths and stuff. And now all the people are going to run away. Maths? No, that should be don't like it. Ah, you will like it. I think you will like it. I think when we have all the uh, goods for the artillery, which is very soon. That uh, we will make money again. Because it costs a lot to, to buy these goods. And there we go, we have our uh, CB against uh, Ethiopia. Now which state do we want from Ethiopia? There is this one, so that we can border this one. It's Ethiopian Amara. Because if we want to go and take this state, this state has a life rating of 30. So we can colonize this state very soon. And the same counts for this one. Now there is another state. This is 15. Um, here, this one is having 30. So we also want to take this one from Egypt. Uh, we will go for, I think, this state. Let's have a look where there's a lot of population. Yeah, the most is in their capital state. We will take uh, Amara. So we will uh, declare the war for Ethiopian Amhara. Oh. Now we raised our maintenance already. So the organization is already up. Yes. Now let's not get attrition. So I will move them one by one. Or they are going to move through different provinces. And that will also not give them any attrition. So 
So you have to be very careful with where you, de where you uh, make your claim on. Because when you go above 25 infamy, you are going to have a big and big problem. A very big problem. Well, we're still uh, accumulating our technology points. Factory will be built. Let's uh, move towards Ethiopia. Now they do still get attrition. Because some provinces have only a force supply limit of 10. In these forests, for example. It is horrible. Now, I think all our cannons are built. Uh, they are pretty useless on their own. Well, that's not true, but... Not really. Cannons only is not that great, because you want an infantry unit to protect it on the front row. Let's see if we can make more armies. We're still building two artillery. We can only make one soldier in Europe. Let's get the Hussar for the reconnaissance. Let's uh, move in. As I think they both have a leader, yeah. You can change leaders if you want. Uh, this one is very good at attacking. It gets a, uh, gets a plus four at a roll. So we would like to attack the armies with this uh, leader. It's factory almost built. Yes, it's almost ready. You can see it over here as well. 35 days. Artillery is done. So we are sieging now this province. And this one will siege Avaza. This point is going up very quickly. I like it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Do you hear that sound? That is the sound when a factory gets built. There's a factory! What does the factory show you? It shows you what it is making. It's making steel. It is not making any steel right now. The base output is 20. We need 5 coal. And 20 iron. To make 20 steel. So 20 iron becomes 20 steel with 5 coal. That's also you can see it. Now this factory will fill up until 10,000. If it's full, you can upgrade it with 15,000 money and you can make it to level 2. And then you can have 20,000 people in the working in the factory and so on and so on and so on. Now this number is not correct because it's just opened. Uh, but why did I build this here or where you have coal and iron? Now when you hover over the steel factory here, you can see that how much you make is based on your base output is 20 times the throughput which we have a 25% bonus as you can see in the middle because we have iron and coal in the state so we have a 25% throughput bonus and output efficiency we have 101% just by output efficiency tech. Now, output will also be increased by other things, but that will show up on the list very soon, I think. Yeah, there it is. Everything is getting changed because all the workers are now going into the factory. I think. I think they have to migrate or something. Yeah, you can see how it is increasing. The clerks are coming in and the craftsmen are coming in. Now, what is the difference between clerks and craftsmen? The clerks are your specialized uh, workers. 
Now, what do they do? Your clerks give an output efficiency bonus. And your craftsmen give a throughput bonus. And the throughput decides how much you make. At the moment we make 3.2% throughput because we only have a couple of craftsmen working. So we have base 20 times throughput, 3.21%, which is nothing. So that means that the base output of 20 becomes 0 0.66. We make 0 0.66 steel a day. Now this number will grow very quickly because more and more people are going to work in the factory. Now, what you want to try to do is make 20% of your factory clerks. When you have 20% of your factory clerks and 80% craftsmen, you get a 50% uh, output efficiency from clerks. We now have 1.15% because we don't have uh, uh, 2,000. But if you have 2,000 clerks and 8,000 craftsmen, you get this bonus. And your craftsmen just make goods. That's the throughput, how much they make. But this number will slowly go up and we make more and more steel. And that way uh, we can use steel for ourselves or we sell it on the world market. Now, and yeah, we are still conquering land. Um, and on the downside of this tooltip, you can see the maintenance goods that you need. You always need cement. Now, luckily we have some artisans making cement, but we also want to have a cement factory. So we can use our own cement to maintain our own factories, so we don't have to buy it from the world market. And the same goes for machine parts. We really want to make a machine parts factory, so we can main maintenance all our factories. By our own goods. So now we are also making steel in Sveland. And later on you need steel for other things. Sometimes you need, uh, for example, the uh, ammunition factory. Oh, that's not a good uh, example, wait. Um, well, sometimes you... Wait, I can, I can look this up actually. Yeah, when you click on the steel, it's produced by our artisans. We make 3.6 steel by our artisans in our country. And we make almost one steel in our own steel factory. And they are used by artisans to make artillery and to make small arms. It may be used for an artillery factory. If we want to build our own artillery, we need steel to build artillery. Um, we, can, we need steel for the automobiles, for the clipper shipyard. The machine parts factory that we cannot build right now, but later with technologies we can. Uh, small arms, steamers, the uh, small arms factory needs ammunition and steel. So if we build an ammunition factory here, because we have enough iron, we will make uh, ammunition and steel in the state. And then we get a 25% bonus for small arms as well. And then you can build a chain of factories that work with each other. And that's the nice thing about it. Uh, we conquered this province, it's really hard to see, but we did. Now, we have a glowing hammer, we can enact a reform. Let's have a look. I always click on the people. Uh, people want censored press. 7.95 of, of our people want censored press. Now, that is over here. Uh, we only have a state press right now, and we can get a censored press. And a movement is lobbying for it. 108,000. When you go to the movements, you can see that a lot of people want censored press. Now, I will give it to them. They get more political awareness, which is a good thing if you are a pleb and not a good thing if you are a capitalist. Let's click on it. Now, it is the 1st of January. Oh, we get elections, by the way. Uh, that is this thing that pops up. We get elections. And you get some events and then you get the election outcome. Uh, we just accumulated a year of research points. And now we can click the 50% bonus. 
because it's 1940. So I will research this one. It takes 7,200 points. Uh, we already had uh, 4,000 um, accumulated. You cannot see it right now. And those will be in invested 100 a day. So until we are at 4,500, maybe 4,600, this will go normally again. Are they actually attacking me? They are. I have to help. Uh oh. <gasps> 42. They have so many troops. This is really scary, by the way. So we will get this very quickly. You can see that the uh, the date is going down very quickly when we research it. And there we go, guys. We are a great power. Congratulations, Sweden. You are now a great power. Uh, who is number nine? The Ottoman Empire. And they have two points, so we are really close to not become a great power. But we can start uh, sphering other nations. Now... At the moment, we are not having anyone in our sphere. And if we want to form Scandinavia, we need to sphere Denmark. So let's focus on Denmark. And then you can put your points in here. And then you get influence. And when you have 50 influence, you will see this pop-up going on. And then you can increase your opinion to uh, cordial. And then to friendly. And then to sphered. As you can see, Prussia is also trying to sphere Denmark right now. So hopefully we can keep the Prussians away from Denmark, because we need it for Scandinavia. Now the more relations you have, the quicker your influence goes. We now gain 0.479 each day. Now we get 0.483. Now you can see this number going up. That is That are our points. We need 50 to get to the next level. It's going to take some time. Now, what is happening in Ethiopia? We got the siege. Oh, the attrition. Let's get their capital. Should get more of it. How much uh, steel are you making? 1.21. It's still not a lot. Uh, as you can see, we are not getting the, the cement. Apparently, we cannot buy cement from the world market. When you cannot make cement, you don't make steel because you cannot maintain the factory. And this is one of these events you get from the election stuff. Uh, you really want jingoism if you want to go to war a lot. So, we are patriots and we are going to fight for our country. 10% become more in favor for jingoism. Very nice. I wonder how quickly we are going to siege compared to them. Now, as you can see, our points are now completely invested. We are now uh, only getting our 14 points. It's still going very quickly. There's still some craftsmen in Jutaland that are not having a job. Now, I have a Gondor. Is that enough to piece them out? I think it is. So once again, I could add a war goal, but we get a full 5 infamy. I don't want 5 infamy, so I just take Amhara. It's really hard to see because it's the same color, but this is Sweden. Go and stand over there. Now, can we colonize this? Uh, no, we need to get the uh, prophylaxis against malaria invention. Then we can colonize this state. And we can get that invention anytime. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. In the next one, uh, we'll just keep boring. I think we want uh, Egypt as well. They are also uncivilized. And we will focus on our factories more. So uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye.